Iran nuclear fuel production drops sharply following Natan's explosion. Iran's production of nuclear fuel fell sharply over the past three months, following alleged sabotage of its main nuclear facility in April, an event Tehran has blamed on Israel. The sharp drop in production, detailed in a confidential report released by the United Nations Atomic Agency on Monday, gives the first concrete insight into the impact of the incident, which took out the power supply at Natanz and destroyed potentially hundreds of centrifuges, machines that enrich uranium. Israel has declined to comment on the incident, one of a series of explosions at Iran's nuclear facilities over the past 18 months. Tehran accused Israel at the time of orchestrating the attack to try to undermine nuclear talks in Vienna aimed at restoring the 2015 nuclear deal. Iran's production of enriched uranium fell to an estimated 273 kilograms in the three months to May 22. That compares to 525 kilograms in the three months to February. Iran's total stockpile is estimated to be around 3,241 kilograms, more than 15 times higher than the permitted uranium stockpile in the 2015 agreement. Experts say that is likely enough nuclear material, if purified to weapons-grade level, for about three nuclear weapons.